Hello friends. In this video, I am going to demonstrate how you can use SLMail email marketing application. I already have demonstrated the steps required for installation of SLMail. And in continuation to that video, I am going to demonstrate the steps you have to take for creating newsletters, managing your campaigns, managing your list, etc. So now coming to my computer screen, here you can see SLMail admin dashboard. Here you will have admin options like uh, the number of customers you have and the plans for your customers and some admin settings, then sending servers, settings, report and many other things. Alright, so first of all, before you start uh, creating campaigns in SLMail, you have to create plan and that plan you have to assign to customer. Then only customer will able to send any campaign even though you are yourself a customer. You can't create any campaign in admin dashboard or admin view. You have to switch to customer dashboard and there you will have option to create campaigns, manage your list and everything. So let's start with creating plan. So first of all go to plan and then next go to manage plans. Now here you can see there are couple of uh, plans already listed but uh, you can see the this is highlighted in red which says no delivery server selected and at, at present there is no delivery server present at all. So what I am going to do is to first add delivery server. So go to sending and then you have to go to sending servers. Now click on new server. And then you will get uh, many options and depending on uh, which service you are availing, you can select that option. In my case, I am going to use a postal SMTP and uh, there is no option like a postal API. So I am going to select SMTP here and now it will ask the host name. So this is my host name and next username. So this is the username and it will ask you the password. So this is the password and the SMTP port which is 25 in my case and then I'll click save. If your credentials are correct then it will automatically add sending server otherwise it will throw some error. So make sure your SMTP credentials are correct and then only you'll get that successful message which uh, just appeared. Alright, uh, you can also test uh, connection if you like. When you click on test connection you'll get uh, this pop-up message which says sending server is valid. You can also send a test mail if you like, although that would not be necessary. If uh, you already have tested the connection and it's valid, then everything is good. Next, uh, you can name this uh, SMTP. Anything like if this is your first SMTP, you can name it SMTP1. And then it will ask you default from email address. So you can put anything like support at the rate your domain. So this is the domain name I am going to put here. And then it will ask you bounce handler feedback loop handler. So if you have not created any of them then there will not uh, then you will not get any option in this drop down list. After that uh, you can select the speed limit or you can even create custom speed limit. Next, uh, you can add email domain that uh, would be used as sending identity or you can leave it. After that, uh, you have uh, like three options which says uh, you can allow unverified from email address. For example, let's say my email address is dhiraj at the rate in guide dot in and if I simply want to send mail from that without verifying that would also be possible if I check this box. I would recommend not checking this box instead you should always 
allow verifying users own domains and in some cases if you like you might want to allow verifying users own emails after that click save next you have to go to plans and click on manage plans now here is uh, like you have four options i am going to select the first one and i'll click edit now you will see sending server option at the top where you have to make the selection i'll click on add sending server and then i'll select this one click ok all right after that you can go to general and uh, look at the few settings like you can also change this uh, free plan into something else also there are uh, uh, other settings in which you can set quotas maximum subscribers and all those things i will uh, leave these options for you to explore yourself there also you can have like uh, single process multi process you can have up to three processes at the same time then terms of service email verification this is one of the like additional feature compared to mail is where uh, you can have uh, some email verification services and uh, you actually integrate it with sl mail and sl mail will uh, allow the customers to validate their email uh, list and that would uh, really help uh, in uh, cutting down bounces or uh, you know the emails which are non existent uh, today so after that uh, you have to click save next if i go back to manage plans i should see this uh, uh, active option all right now okay before uh, switching to customer uh, one more thing like bounce handlers so like here you have option to add new bounce handler in postal smtp you can't create any bounce handler so in that case uh, you have to do that separately with sl mail because uh, postal uh, uh, bounce management can be done through api or you can uh, there is one more option like you can have routing where uh, bounce emails will be routed to some email addresses i recommend creating one exclusive uh, mailbox for uh, bounces and from there mm, this sl mail will able to access and manage bounces all right so let's uh, go to customers and uh, you can see this is the customer which was created by default at the beginning but there is no active subscription so what you have to do you have to uh, click on this uh, down arrow and then go to assign plan now you will see all the plans active here right now i have only one active plan so it is showing only one so after that click select then confirm all right so now i have uh, assigned one subscription and it still shows no active subscription so let's refresh this page okay it's it still shows no active subscription anyway so let's uh, switch back to customer view which you can do so by going at the bottom and then you have to simply click customer view and uh, in customer view you will uh, get uh, for the first time they will ask you the billing information so simply fill it even though you yourself yourself are customer then still you have to fill this information then select country after that uh, save it next uh, since i haven't enabled any payment method so it is showing only payment method available is offline select that click on get started and uh, now you can see uh, subscription is active okay now if i go to admin view i guess it will show active subscription in that customer okay customers yeah now you can see the plan is active and it's uh, this particular customer is on free plan so let's uh, go to lists 
and here you have to create your first list click on create list and then you have to give it a name so i would say uh, my first list all right now from email so if you put anything like uh, info at the rate uh, i already have added one domain so now it is saying that uh, the email address you entered is not verified please choose one that matches the list or click here to verify now if you also there is option like you can proceed with an unverified anyway if you are sure about it so we haven't uh, like uh, selected uh, in sending servers basically if i go back to sending servers and then if you go to edit we didn't allow any unverified from email address so i am not sure that uh, this email will be accepted but anyway let's try it default name i'll uh, type the domain name default subject uh, i'll say newsletter and then it is going to ask you all those details so let me fill it quickly all right now i have uh, filled those details it's a uh, time to click on save and uh, now list has been created it's time to add new subscriber so you can simply click on that uh, little icon and you can put mail id here okay this is the one way to add subscriber and there is another way which uh, is basically importing subscriber from your list this is the one of the issue i would like to raise with the developer and like i am getting this uh, always but the good thing is that uh, your subscriber is actually added in the back end if i go back to subscribers then you will see this subscriber exists but i don't know why there is that page appeared instead of like uh, uh, coming back to this page anyway so let's uh, there is an option to import you can click on import and then go to browse and uh, let me go to desktop sorry downloads and all right after that uh, click on import and uh, you can see the import has been successfully finished also if uh, you don't know what is the format to import you can simply download sample csv file from here and uh, this sl mail will basically give you the format and you can see this is the email address and then first name last name everything all right so next uh, step is to create campaign you can also create automations if you simply go to automations then you will find couple of options for example welcome uh, news new subscribers and say happy birthday like that you uh, like whenever subscribers join to your list uh, and the uh, welcome email will be sent automatically from sl mail whenever uh, your subscriber birthday came it will automatically send happy birthday uh, newsletter so like that uh, you can have uh, like multiple automation next uh, in order to create campaigns you have to go to campaigns and then click on create campaign and now you will have two options one is regular one is plain text note that in plain text it will go without uh, link tracking images or html so it's it's just plain text and there will not be any tracking so you don't ex expect any opening rate here so in that case you will obviously want to go with regular email where you can send html content images links and many things so simply select regular and then it will ask you the list right now i have uh, one list so i'll select that and save and next next uh, it will ask you to name your campaign so i'll say my first campaign now the email subject uh, let's say weekly newsletter and then from name and from email address 
so uh, you can see it says uh, it's not yet verified it's still saying and uh, also you can uh, select uh, sending servers default value that is also one of the option so you have to simply check this box and it will uh, set the sending servers default value so um, let's uh, select a sending servers default value this time and then okay so like i don't have option to save and next so let's uh, disable it and still i don't have option to save and next and that's a good reason for that because uh, like we didn't allow any unverified from email addresses sending server so if you want to send from this uh, address you have to basically allow this otherwise you will not able to proceed further and uh, the reason i am unable to verify this uh, email address because it's on postal and i have not any mailbox set for this so i am going to allow unverified from email address and then save it and now if i refresh this page i hope to continue further all right so now you can see this uh, uh, this save and next uh, has been highlighted and now i can continue even i can uh, select this sending server default value and i can continue so let's click on save and next now it will ask you whether you want to create an template or upload your template it's uh, completely up to you but i am going to create one template and i'll create simple template and let's uh, continue on email builder pro okay slmail has uh, um, very nice uh, email builder so that would be really helpful for you so you can see those things you have to simply uh, drag the block like uh, this text and, uh, and this is ready you can change the colors and there are many options as well so i i i am just going to continue with this and after that i'll save and close and now template has been selected you can click on preview to uh, preview your template so this is the html view this is the plain text view and uh, after that uh, if you like to send any attachment you can simply drop uh, your files after that click next and now it will ask you whether you want to schedule it or you want to send it right now and you can see the time which is showing is matching with my clock so i'll click send now and uh, it will ask you one more time for confirmation you can also take a look at preview if you like we already have done that or you can send a test mail if you like or you can simply click on send so once you send it uh, the mail will be sent instantaneously and uh, you will able to track open rate and click rate so let's uh, go to the postal and uh, we will go to the messages all right so now you can see uh, mail has been actually sent okay so it was uh, okay it uh, basically failed to send to my own domain for some reason anyway uh, you can see it has been sent to outlook yahoo gmail all right so let me open my yahoo account if i go to yahoo mail.com now here you can see i have actually received the newsletter and it says i am text block ready for your content all right so this is how you can uh, send a campaign from your uh, sl mail there are a few more options to explore basically you can also go to customer view and create sending domains and that will basically help you in verifying this option basically this option which says allow verifying users own domains and that option is basically linked to sending domains and obviously for allow verifying users own email address you can simply when you um, when you create uh, any list you can uh, like uh, go and verify your email address so let me show you how you can do that you can simply create and 
uh, you can click on click here to verify and then go on uh, and click new sender next uh, give it a name SWHSP and you can put an email ID let me use my Yahoo ID and then I'll click save all right now you can see this is the pending now if I go to my Yahoo ID and uh, there is nothing in inbox and let's uh, go to spam okay so now it's in spam because uh, you know basically we haven't configured in educate dot in for sending and uh, it was actually sent so I guess uh, DKIM would have been failed anyway so let's uh, use this link and now you can see verification done and now you can send from in guide at the rate yahoo.com so that's how you verify your mail address and for domains obviously you can here add a new sending domain or you can simply <laughs> basically it's uh, taking you back to the same link from here or from you can go there basically you can uh, come to this link by simply going to sending sending domains so if you go to this and then you will land to this page where you will be asked to add domain so let's say uh, I want uh, my domain in educate dot in to be added and here you will have option for signing enabled and that's a good thing basically then if I click on save and uh, you'll get uh, these two records that you have to put in your DNS in order to verify this domain so after you have done the verification you will able to send uh, email from this domain as well so that's all for this uh, SL mail uh, campaigns I hope uh, you would have liked this video you can also see open rate here uh, which is 25% uh, because I opened uh, only it in Yahoo so you can see that uh, opening rate is working fine so uh, SNMail is one of the great application there are like few bugs I hope developer would uh, fix it in due time and uh, thank you very much for watching this video and uh, don't forget to like and subscribe thank you once again